hello everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and this is actually a part 3 of the beautiful morph animation business template that we have created and i hope you like it and thanks for the response for the first two videos that was really awesome and thanks to you so in this part we will learn how to implement the morph transition because we have designed the slide the masking frame as well and now we just have to place the items in order to make it ready for the morph transition so please guys if you're watching this video and if you haven't subscribed i would request your support so you can please subscribe to our channel you can join the membership you can learn this tutorial and download the link from the cheat drive link provided in the video description now what we have to do here is we have to copy this image like five times more so in total there will be six images like this make sure these are well aligned vertically and distributed you can use this align option to distribute them vertically so this part is really important because what will happen is when during morph transition we will navigate through the slides these images will move downwards and in the end it will create a very beautiful effect so once the images are in place you can change the images inside this image placeholder and then you can you know offset the values from left and right to make sure the image doesn't look stretched so it depends on the number of slides you want to have in this presentation uh, you know i am i have created it for six information slides then there will be a couple of slides like cover and then thank you but the main slides will be like six slides where this great you know awesome effect morph transition will work so so once the images are in place similarly we have to you know group the information in this card and once the card is ready grouped you can press ctrl plus g to group the items and then duplicate and similarly you can uh, stack them like this from top to bottom and make sure it is vertically aligned so you have to focus on the alignment here which is really important so there are six images then there will be six such cards and you, you can duplicate two cards as well at the same time this will save your time so make sure you have zoomed out the slide so that you have enough area to play with the things here and if you're working on a you know bigger monitor then it would be really easy for you now select all these cards and make sure these are well arranged and aligned align to center then you can align them vertically as well by pressing distribute vertically it will equally distribute these cards from top to bottom the space will be even between these cards so that's very important now we have placed all the cards here and the next step is to change the content on each card make sure everything is changed here only on this slide because once we have moved forward and duplicated the items then it will be very confusing and difficult for you to change the content so it's better if you change everything here only make sure all the text is changed on every slide sorry on every card so on the first slide we have created the high level you know flow of this presentation like there will be corporate slide then analytics intelligence marketing investment and results so you have to you know change the content on each slide according to the text here so you have to change the titles then these stats this dummy information so you have to change everything here only 
so like you can change the stats here as well so yeah it's pretty easy once it's done it's changed then we are ready to move to the next step so i've changed everything so now select all these press ctrl plus g to group the items and once all the items are grouped you have to group these images as well just remember ctrl plus g to group the items and select the title here description this shape and the branding and bring them to forward now duplicate the slide and move the images the grouped stack of images downwards by one image and similarly you have to do it for the cards as well on every slide you have to duplicate the slides six times and change the images and the cards by moving them downwards and upwards respectively on each slide now again duplicate and move the images downwards and these cards upwards so that's how you have to do it on all these six slides so the steps are repetitive i hope everything is clear till now so all the slides are ready and we have placed the images and the cards so that they can work perfectly during the morph transition behind this masked frame so we have duplicated the cover slide and placed it at the bottom i mean the as a last slide because this is now a thank you slide or the last slide where you can present any information you want about the company or the contact information your social connections any quote some messaging email phone numbers anything but what i have mentioned is please subscribe join the membership so if you are watching this video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, so here you can you know change the information as per requirement so now now, let, now let's change the image here add something really unique and beautiful image so we are using this inbuilt you know stock images option in the powerpoint so i'm using office 365 version so this is a very nice image that i have used i really like it it shows some kind of you know uniqueness unique concept so that's why i've used it now we have to change the title on every slide the title and the description and for that you have to just go to each slide and just change the title and we have written the high level you know flow of the presentation here at the first slide so we can copy the titles here copy and paste the titles here and and similarly you can change the description as well for each component and change the text and you can also add some information if you want so so this is just a template you can add some stats as well or if you want to add some more information you can do that so you can do it for all the slides after that copy all this text and the slide number which is hidden behind this card and select this masking frame the background layer and bring them to front and you have to do it for all the slides one by one select the text the slide number which is hidden behind this card number card select the masking frame right click bring to front just do it for all the slides the steps are repetitive and easy so again we are doing the same thing so yeah we have done it for all the slides now let's change the numbers here the slide numbers you can easily change just edit the text box and change the numbers so once that's done we have achieved another milestone now we have to create a welcome slide as well 
So that's an optional slide, but I think that will look really creative because we have these two windows here. In one window, we have this image and in the second window, we have this card. But we want to appear them in a nice way in these two windows. And for that, you have to duplicate the first slide that is a corporate slide and move the cards downwards and the images upwards. Now we have these two windows here let's change the text here first we will write welcome and then let's change this dummy text as well and once that's done so i'm writing some customized text here like subscribe to our channel and join the membership and after that change the background color to gray so that these two windows are visible so now change the color to something like gray now insert the text box here and write loading and change the font to open sans adjust the text style here you can keep it like increase the character spacing and you can keep it in all caps and place it at the center of uh, center on both these inside both these windows and move it to the top and change the slide number here to like intro so this is an intro slide so we are we can copy the text from our cover slide to this welcome slide and we can write like introduction make sure this is right aligned yes and now it's looking fine and now copy both these loading text here on the next slide and move it towards the top outside of the slide area so this will become their ending position while animating and while navigating through the slides and now what we have to do is we have to place the text and the components from their current slide to the previous slide but outside of the slide area to their starting point. So what will happen is these components will start here, will start from here and when we will navigate to the next slide they will appear on the screen from the starting point and similarly you have to do this for all these slides like on the fourth slide we have copied this text and placed it on the third slide but at the bottom now this will become the starting point for these components the title and this blue shape and the description and similarly copy this welcome text and place it on the second slide at the bottom so now we have now what we have done is we have created the starting point for these components and they will move to their current position in the next slide so that's how the morph transition works and for more information you can watch the first part where i have explained this thing in very detailed manner and there you can you know get the idea how this works and repeat the steps for all these slides copy and paste it on the previous slide at the bottom i am placing these at the bottom but you can place these at the top as well you have to decide like where you want to keep the starting point of the animation now select all the slides press morph in the transitions tab now duplicate the cover slide and remove all these components except the branding here so this will be our first slide so what we will do is now we will move it towards the top so this is this will be our first slide the plane slide and next will be the business 
presentation this cover slide now copy this information along with image and place on the first slide and move it downwards outside of the slide area and move the image further down and watch the animation cover slide then comes the welcome slide and now you can see the welcome slide after that these information slides so it has started working now but we have to further fine-tune it and and what we have to do is we have to group the text items here and for that you have to select the text items the shape and the title and group them all by pressing ctrl plus g on all the slides select all these three components press ctrl plus g select all these three components press ctrl plus g now repeat the steps for all the slides and what will happen is all these three components now will be treated as one and they will move in a grouped manner So we have to repeat it for all the slides. So, so it would be great if you watch all these three parts and learn and then download the template from the G drive link and see how it works. So that would be really helpful for you. Now what we have to do is we have to now copy these grouped items on each slide and paste them on the next slide for their exit position while animation. Initially we pasted them on the previous slide in the starting position. Now we have to place them on their next slide at their exit position. Starting position, current and then their exit position. So that's how the morph transition works and here is the final output we have done it for all the slides and you have already seen this output i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and we will see you guys in our next video with something more beautiful and more crazy and i'm also working on a very beautiful microsoft excel dashboard which I'll share once it is completed. Till then, see ya. Bye-bye. Please share this video.